I feel like you're giving me old theology. And, and I feel that it is not pertinent to what we are dealing with now. And um, so we're going to have just a difference of opinion. You obviously are telling me what you believe, and it scares the heck out of me that you believe that. Uh, it gives me no confidence, and I didn't intend to come to the hearing. I thought you would, the, this panel would be quick in and quick out, and I thought we'd spend a lot more time with the third panel. Um, but uh, so it's just, uh, it's probably been one of the most unsatisfying panels in my four years that I've ever listened to because I feel like we aren't being honest with the American people. That's the way I feel. Well, we, we continue to look at the vulnerabilities. I've said that. We have not stopped looking at the, at the potential um, vulnerabilities associated with terrorism. And, and hope, hopefully you don't take away from this that we have stopped in, in all of the actions that we think um, you know, will ever need to be taken have been taken. We're, we're continuing to examine that. So in that sense, uh, we've not closed out. Uh, our consideration of what the potential effects of terrorism would be. I'm just going to read this paragraph. I got it from the chairman, and then we're going to go to the next panel. While we appreciate and recognize the effort that went into the draft report, we believe the draft report appears to give undue weight to the impact of potential acts of terrorism on emergency planning and preparedness, and continuing it in context with the rest of what's said, Emergency preparedness programs are designed to cope with a spectrum of accidents, including those involving rapid large release of radioactivity. Emergency preparedness exercises have invariably included large releases of radioactivity that occurs slightly shortly after the initi initiation of events. Necessary protective actions and off-site response are not predicated on the cause of events. Whether releases from the plan occur as a result of terrorist attacks or equipment malfunctions, emergency plans guide decision makers and responders in the same way. Preliminary results from our vulnerability studies do not indicate an increased source term or quicker release from terrorist initiated events than is already addressed by the emergency planning basis required by the NRC regulations and in place at any point. I believe that's old theology.